Hey everybody, it's Yankee Prepper, and I thought I would uh, take a break from the flip-flop debacle debate to uh, do a vid on mission-specific footwear, uh, manly appropriate footwear that uh, Yankee Prepper recommends and uses. Um, footwear that I've got a lot of experience with, and I'd like to pass some of this information along to you. I've mentioned doing this vid once before on... Uh, East Coast Preppers uh, blog TV when I was on there one night and uh, he thought this was a good idea but I I just never got around to it and it seems like I'm I'm uh, I'm having some fun here with uh, videos that I always wanted to do but never got around to and this seems like a very appropriate time to salvage some information from all this and uh, maybe pass it along to you as well um, take it for what it's worth and uh, get what you can out of it some people are probably going to be freaked out on uh, how much footwear I'm going to show here. Maybe some, maybe not others, but uh, some people I know are going to be freaked out, but I'm really into mission-specific uh, bootwear, or the environment you're in or what you're doing. And, uh, you know, the military has proven and really believes in the fact that, uh, you know, your your uh, soldier's foot condition can, can uh, make you or break you. Uh, they figured that out a long time ago, and that's why they put so much effort and time and money into issue boots. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I carefully pick boots for uh, for what I'm doing as well. Now the footwear I'm about to show you, uh, most of them are not cheap. But um, usually in footwear you get what you pay for. And I would really recommend that you buy the best shoes that you can get for your feet. Because in the long term, it's going to pay off with longevity. Some of the boots I'm about to show you have a ton of wear on them. And I've had them for literally decades half my life and they're still usable and I uh, I believe most of them that I'm about to show you will last another 20 years the first one I'll show you is these lacrosse uh, boots they're not a hiking boot they're more of a sit still made in the USA lacrosse Wisconsin and I bought these over 20 years ago 20 years ago guys they're extremely warm they're not made for walking around they're made for sitting in very uh, cold deer stands on those cold days or ice fishing or just sitting still they're pretty quiet very comfortable and uh, again the longevity on them they're over 20 years old and I mean they're like the day I bought them I just put some uh, saddle soap on the uppers once in a while and that's how they keep okay the next set of boots are my hunting boots and uh, that's their mission specific purpose uh, I paid ninety dollars for these they got about uh, 200, I think it's, no, I'm sorry, 2,400 milligrams of Thinsulate in them. They're very warm, uh, but they're kind of a hybrid in between hiking and, and sitting still. So you can you can sit in those cold deer stands. It just can't be 20 below, you know. Uh, they're, they're not as warm as the lacrosse, but you can hike around with them. They're not the best hiking shoes, but you can walk around with them on those turkey hunting days or, you know, on those cold days that you're going pheasant hunting in the fall. They've got high gator sides on the side, too, that are snake-proof. And they're totally waterproof. And I think I said 90 bucks. Third pair are my Steger Mucklucks. And these are definitely not cheap. Uh, you're probably upwards to $200. I bought them about 10 years ago. They've got moose hide lowers and uh, canvas sides. And they're designed by Steger Mucklucks in Ely, Minnesota. Again, a very expensive boot, but incredibly warm. I mean, these are like, I, you know, sometimes I believe they're magic. Um... <clears throat> I've had them snowmobiling. You can walk around a lot with them. Uh, you can lo walk long distances with them. They're extremely comfortable. Uh, the only uh, downside is they're not the most durable. Now, having said that, they've lasted a decade, and they're almost like new. The pads are still really good on the bottom. Um, but they won't, you know, they're not going to take a lot of heavy brush and sticks can puncture them. You've got, you know, they're mo made mostly for you know, wintering uh, over snow, things like that. Whereas these are extremely durable and can take a lot of punishment. But these Steger Mucklucks are incredible. Uh, and I don't know, I, I wear them uh, all the time, even during the winter time here going uh, to the stores. And, you know, up here you can get away with that. People aren't going to look at you wearing Steger Mucklucks. Uh, for other people, it might be kind of a stretch if, if you care about people looking at you. I really don't anyway. But uh, these are extremely uh, warm and comfortable boots uh, made well. Okay, the next ones I'm showing you are my favorite. You know, I mean, all of these are my favorite mission-specific boots, but uh, these definitely hold probably the top, the top uh, spot. I bought these over 20 years ago. Danner boots—they're uh, combat 
uh, cold weather combat boots. They are uh, battle uniform approved. And that uh, was some of the best money I've ever spent. I think I bought them directly from the PX for around 200 bucks. And after 20 years, they look beat up. They've got a lot of miles on them, but they still work great. Uh, same soles, original soles. The only thing I've done is put, uh, you know, a uh, insole in them to give a little more cushion after all these years of pounding them down. But this is great money. I mean, you know, split that up over over uh, 20 years, $200, and it's it's nothing. And these boots are incredible, and I, I know I'll, I'll use them again and again and again. They're very warm, very comfortable. You can hike around all day in them, and uh, it, it'll get you through the worst weather. And they also have that uh, Thinsulate in them or the, you know, whatever that stuff is that uh, wicks the uh, sweat away from your feet. Uh, they breathe well. So you can use them. You know, you don't have to use them in extreme weather. Uh, I use these for uh, training up in Alaska for some cold weather survival training. And uh, just an incredible boot worth every dollar. Still use them all the time. The next set of boots I have here, I definitely have a lot of miles on. And uh, I've used them a lot. They're extremely comfortable and well-built boots. They are mission-specific for sure. And uh, they are military-issue boots uh, specific to MOS. Uh, I think they cost 40 or 50 bucks at the uh, PX. And I'm going to let you guys take a guess at uh, what kind of boots you think these are. They do not have laces on them. They come with leather straps. And we can do extra brownie points for what you think the leather straps are for and why they don't have uh, uh, laces. I'd like to uh, see if anybody can uh, guess what kind of boots these are and, and, and why they're built the way they are. But these are mission-specific boots that I use in the civilian world for motorcycle riding. They are great boots um, <clears throat> for motorcycle riding. They have a hard toe. And uh, again, the leather straps, uh, they're very comfortable uh, uh, wearing for extremely long periods of time. And if you're on a motorcycle and you're riding cross-country, uh, you can only move your feet around in so many directions, and that's what makes these boots so great to be able to sit there and uh, be so comfortable for long periods of time and in just a, a couple different positions. These next two on the end here are obviously desert boots. This one's a uh, standard issue battle dress uh, boot and probably... Well, over 20 years old at this point. This one's a newer boot, and I actually uh, uh, really like these boots as well for uh, warmer weather, obviously. But this one i got to give uh, a special shout-out to. I, I wear these a lot. I really like them. They're super comfortable. They're made by Converse. They are a uh, battle dress uh, uniform approved boot as well for your uniforms. And they come with a really nice sole. I mean, it's almost built like a uh, super tough uh, armored tennis shoe. They are waterproof and breathable. And I really, you know, I, I always try to go for waterproof uh, in any kind of boots I'm buying. But what I really like about them, besides that they're so comfortable and waterproof, is that they have the zipper sides. And I, I like that a lot. And I'll tell you why. When, if you need to get going in a hurry, you know, if you're a prepper, these are the kind of things at least I think about. If you need to get going in a hurry, uh, the zippers are real nice. These are always at the bedside. So, you know, let's say an alarm is triggered or I hear something in the middle of the night. I don't want to get up, you know... Uh, you know, barefoot. I want to get up and stick my boots on real quick. These take about two seconds to slip on and zip up and I'm ready to go. And there's nothing scarier than a big guy uh, in his boots with no underwear on and guns in his hands. Next pair of boots, uh, a lot of you guys will recognize these. I, stink, I, 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 I believe they are still standard issue boots in the uh, Army and that's where I got them from. Uh, a great boot, very comfortable. Again, the military you know, figured out a long time ago that uh, the condition of your feet can take a, can make or break the soldier. Uh, so they, they really do have some great, comfortable shoes. I actually uh, filled these with hot water when I first got them and let them soak through and then wore them till they were dry. And they still, to this very day, fit like a glove. Great pair of boots. I think you can still pick them up for 40 bucks. Now we're coming back more towards the uh, civilian side of boots. These are my uh, hiking boots. They're uh, Merrill uh, Vibram soles with uh, Polar Tech insulation. They are a great bulletproof boot. They breathe well. Uh, they don't breathe the best, but they breathe well, and they're pretty comfortable. You can hike around in them all day, and uh, their outer soles are extremely tough and can take a lot of damage, and uh, they don't wear out very fast. Great boot. I think I paid about $69 for these. Now, as opposed to, let's say, flip-flops, uh, you know, I enjoy my Tevas for uh, boat work, kayak, canoeing. Uh, I do a lot of Boundary Waters activity. If you don't know what that is, it's a special uh, area up here in Minnesota. There's, there's no other place like it in the world. And Tevas, to me, 
uh, hold up well to that. Um, I like them. They've lasted a long time. I bet I've had these over 10 years, and they're a little worn, but I'm going to keep wearing them until the straps break off. Tevas, uh, Merrells, they make great products uh, to do your hobbies out, outdoors, whether it's hiking or kayaking, whatever you're doing. Uh, water to dry land, uh, it's uh, money well spent. I think these were around $40 when I bought them. Now, even better than the Tevas, now the Tevas are specific when I'm actually in the boat or in the boundary waters, you know, where I'm in and out of the water all the time. But I wear these almost uh, exclusively all through the summer. And I'll wear these on the beach or to the water or on land or out just, you know, grabbing a hot dog. These are great, great shoes made by Keen. Uh, extremely durable. I think I paid about $90 to $100 for these, but they've held up well through a lot of travels. And uh, these shoes uh, have held up well for me. I really like them, and I can run in them and jump in them. And, uh, you know, I mean, they're kind of a hybrid between... Uh, a water shoe and a hiking shoe, you know, they give you enough protection to cover your toes from being jammed or damaged, uh, and even the sides, but they, you know, you can still run in them almost like a tennis shoe. Uh, money well. Another pair of shoes that I have to give special mention to are from uh, GH, GH Bass, and I bought these maybe, over, I'd say, over 10 years ago. Uh, probably cost me 50 or 60 bucks, and they're leather. I like leather. I mean, if these get too loose on me, the one thing I like about leather shoes or boots, I can always water them down again and then let them shrink up and reform them. Uh, you can tell there's hardly anything left here, but I'm still wearing them. And they're they're not as good as the Keens, obviously. But if you're you know if you're going to an outside concert or just you know going to some fair with the kids, uh, they're really comfortable. You could, they have thick uh, cushioned soles. I like that about them, and they're, and they're really comfortable. But I can still run with them. I can still move with them, and they hug my feet. They're not going to fall or slip off. Now, I have to give special mention to these. They're obviously not a boot or a hiking shoe, but one of the best things that you can buy, okay, this is going to be the nugget of information in this video for sure. One of the best things that you can buy for yourself if you're really an outdoorsman or a uh, or, uh, you know, you like to spend a lot of time in, uh, in areas where the temperatures uh, fluctuate, uh, uh, you know, from night to day. A pair of diving socks are an excellent, lightweight, little gem of an item to stick in your backpack. Uh, this can make the difference between cold and miserable feet and warm feet. I've, I've wore these with snow on the ground, and they'll, they'll keep the heat in. Now, it, they don't breathe. But when it's cold, that really doesn't matter to you when you're not sweating, you know, for short periods of time. Um, these are great. They uh, fold right up and can be used instead of socks uh, inside your boots. And I'm telling you, man, they make a huge difference. They've saved me so many times. I've had these for at least 10 years. I started using these in the boundary waters where temperatures can fluctuate quite a bit. Uh, your, your foot and the inside of these can be totally wet. And you can put them on and rapidly, you know, uh, come to warmth. A great item. Think about them if you see them. I, I want to guess, I mean, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks, uh, but they obviously last a long time. They're thick. You know, they're like they're like a, a diver's um, outfit, and uh, they really will keep your feet super warm in those uh, situations where uh, cold is a factor. And you can also use them for just walking around camp. They're pretty durable. Now, last but certainly not least, you need yourself a good pair of work boots. Every man should have a really good pair of work boots. Uh, these are made in the USA by Red Wing. I really recommend them. In fact, most of these boots that you see, with the exception of a few, probably the sandals, uh, are made in the USA, all of them. Uh, these boots are made by Red Wing, like I said, and they're very uh, durable, comfortable. I've had these for over a decade, and I work around a lot of... Uh, you know, hydraulic fluid, oils, things like that, when I have to, you know, leave the house to go work on stuff like that. And these are uh, resistant to it. You know, a good uh, leather boot. They don't have to be super heavy, but they got, you know, a good uh, steel shank and, and uh, hard toe that you're not going to get things crushed. And what work a work boot does for you is it preserves your other boots so you don't have to wear them and, and uh, scum them up and damage them. And that'll help the longevity of the rest of your shoes by having a good pair of work boots to go to. And I recommend that you, you get the best pair of boots that you can buy. You don't have to pay attention to the fads and the bull crap uh, of what the crowd is wearing. You know, just get yourself 
a good pair of boots that works and you'll have them for decades and decades and they're timeless. You'll get your money's worth out of them.